Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. As of May 6, 2018, five motorcyclists have been killed on Alberta highways in the past two weeks, and is alarming to motorcycle safety groups in the province. The head of a provincial motorcycle safety group is now cautioning drivers about making left-hand turns into the paths of motorcycle riders. The Alberta Motorcycle Safety Society launched a safety campaign. One of the group's messages is that 4 out of 10 motorcycle crashes are a result of bad left turns. Left turns still remain among the top three issues in collisions with motorcycles versus vehicles. This happens because there is a signal in your brain that makes it so that you don't see the smaller things on the road so you don't necessarily see that motorcycle coming. It doesn't register and then a vehicle will turn in front of the path of a rider and we lose in that situation 9 times out of 10. May is Motorcycle Safety Month in Alberta. The Alberta RCMP is launching a four-month vehicle safety campaign to promote safety tips for motorbike and ATV riders, as well as educate and raise awareness of the dangers of distracted driving and impaired driving. The motorcycle knowledge test consists of 30 questions about safe driving practices for motorcycle riders, rules of the road, and traffic control, signs and signals as well as licensing information. This test is done on a computer. This safety campaign the RCMP are doing should be ran during the process of people getting a motorcycle license, either by online as well, or by a written test, or part of the riding test. That way all riders will know the same updated rules as well as for the driving tests for driver's license so people will know to act safer. Having five fatalities in the province of Alberta already is very concerning for us as a community. We need to be doing better than this. Whether it's rider error or driver error, we need to lower the statistics in all motor vehicle and motorcycle riders. The Government of Alberta Ministry for Transportation also recommends that you take a certified motorcycle driving course, but not everyone does. This should be a mandatory procedure. These procedures should also apply obviously to drivers of vehicles as well, which is already discussed in a previous video. There really isn't much to it to become a rider of a motorcycle other than basic sign and road knowledge. All it takes is a knowledge test, a 45-minute road test where the rider will also receive instructions in advance of each maneuver and during the test, by use of a one-way radio, followed by a motorcycle course that Alberta Transportation strongly recommends. The guidelines to get a motorcycle license are as follows. Be at least 16 years old. Hold a valid operator's license. This can be a class 7 learners. Have an instructor 18 years of age or older with a valid class 6 motorcycle license. Non-graduated driver's license either be seated on the bike, following on another motorcycle, or in another motor vehicle. We urge that motorcycle licensing should follow strict guidelines when it comes to motorcycle safety, riding, licensing, and whatever else falls under the motorcycle licensing procedures. The rider wants to feel safe while he or she are riding. Maybe allow motorcycles to have a lane like the bike lanes so it can prevent less accidents from happening or post motorcycle signage for vehicles to see to make them more alert at high traffic or high motorcycle collision areas. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.